Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the SQLized type ORM. So today we are going to learn about the SQLized CRUD API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So this is the, you can see about the root structure of my CRUD REST API. So we have our controllers, then we have our models, then routes, then config, then app.js and the packet.json. So this is a structure. So we are going to follow that one. So this is my previous part. Okay. And here we have the config models we have already, but not the controllers. So let's start with the controllers. So let's first we can create a controllers. Okay. So here we have a controllers. Okay. In the controllers, we have to create a file users controller.js. So let's where we have the log all the API section where we have to insert, delete under update section. Okay. So this is user controller. Then we have a models and models. We have the user.js. It's there. Yes. So let's update and we have, then we have a routes. Okay. So we have the routes. No. So let's create that folder of the routes and let's add the user routes.js. Okay. Done. Next config database.js. We have already the config and database.js file. Okay, so here you can see that the connection. Right? And the now we have an app.js file. So on that we are going to do that. So let's dive into the code. Okay, so first file is controllers. Okay. So here we go with the, so this is basically how we are going to start with the project. So make directory project root make sure body parser should be there so i will add the body parser install all this okay so the next one is create a sqlized configuration file config database.js okay so here we have already created that one so this is the sqlize so create a sqlize instance then test the connection whether the connection is connected to the database or not okay then export module dot exports sqlize okay next we have the define the sqlize models inside the model directory okay so create a user model so we have a first name last name and the email so we have a models then we have a user model then we have a first name last name and the email okay so, okay so email should be like this law null false and uh, unique to be true so yeah it's okay okay so this is the model so here you can see that sqlize require config database then we are going to define the mod users table with the fields first name last name and the email and email should be unique one okay next one we have a controller get the controller file in the controllers directory for example create the user controller.js okay and here we have the all details okay so all the api section over here To create new user get all users okay get user by id update user by id then delete user by id okay then module dot exports okay so we will do a step by step with that one so then we have a routes so here, here we have to update the routes also routes users routes okay so update this one so here we have defined the api routes for the users user the post create user get user get user by id update and delete okay so this is done then we have a main application.js file okay so include this one app.js Okay, so the code is updated. Now we have to test each and everything. Okay, so express body parser routes. Okay, then body parser JSON API route is there. Okay, 
and uh, here we have the on which port it should be listen so this is the port number okay let's open the postman to test all the apis Or I think we have the get one post request. No, this get no. No, I think we should create a new one. So HTTP localhost three thousand slash API slash users. Okay. So first request is the post. Request. So first check the whether we have a get request or not. So let's run the server. Node app dot js. Okay, connection to our database has been successfully established. Let's send this request. There is now no records in the users table. Okay, let's try to add. So we have to add with the post request body raw JSON. Okay, we have the first name and the last name. First name. I need to check the tables where we have the first name. Then we have a last name. That last name over here. Okay, then we have an email, right? So email. Okay, this is done. Let's try to send this one. This is a post request. Okay, and you can see data is here and go to the user section. Okay, so here we have a select data. So Rajni can't this and the, this data is inserted. If I go with the get request, you will receive that request. Okay, so let's see the code level, what exactly it is. So here we have the user routes, then we have a post, then we have a get. So create user. So what we are doing over here, so we are requesting the first name, last name and the email from the body and the user dot create function of the type my SQL I SQL I is part will create the first name, last name and the email accepts this one and create that user into your table. Okay, and return the updated user to your response. Otherwise, it will show you the error that error creating the user or internal and response with internal server error. Okay, get all users. There is a function. There is a method that is called find all. So you can use the user dot find all. It, it will retrieve all the users table data into your API part. Okay, response dot status. And if and something went wrong, then it will return internal server error. Okay, next uh, get user by ID. Let's suppose you want to pick the data with user by ID. Let's add some more data over here with the post request. Okay, so is I will add two, two, and here also two. Okay, send it. Two records are there, and let's try to get by one by ID. So make a get request. So you will get the first request data, and then if you go put the second, you will get the second IDs, right? So how we are achieving this one? So get user by ID. You are accepting the parameters ID, right? And here find by PK. Okay, find by PK user ID and if the user doesn't exist, user not found, let's like suppose here I will add the user 3 is not existing over here. Then what is the response that user not found? So it will come into that one because the user 3 is not there. So it is finding by PK with the user ID. If user is not found, then this will occur else it will return that user. Okay. And if something went goes wrong, it will return you the something error fetching the user or internal server error. Okay, this is get user by ID. Okay, next we have update you. We want to update that one. Okay, so updating we require the parameter ID. Okay, first we find if the user not found, then it will throw first that user not found. If else it found, then we are 
accepting the data from here and save that user and save into the database. Let's try to update that one. So I want to update the user two with the record like this. Okay, let's, it's a put request. So make a put request and send it. Okay, because here in the, you can see about them where the routes. So in the routes, we have a put, okay, update user by ID. Okay, so let's try to send. We have already sent that and let's check the database. So it's see that the data is updated. Okay, so the, this is the update part. So how we are doing that one? We already explained that one. Okay, next part that we have a delete user by ID. Okay, so we require the parameters ID and the, again we are finding first if it, the record exists or not. If exist, then destroy. Okay, this is the delete part and uh, let's try to delete that one. So here we have the delete and make the request to send. Okay, and if I go to that one, record is deleted. Okay, so this is how we are able to create the CRUD REST API with the help of the SQLize ORM in the Node.js. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.